For the first time ever, American scientists have managed to partially regrow limbs in mammals, not in theory, but in real trials. Imagine losing a limb and then watching new bone, new muscle, and even new nerves slowly grow back. That's what researchers in the U.S. have achieved using a breakthrough in bioelectric stimulation. They applied precise electrical patterns to amputation sites, not random shocks, but carefully coded signals that mimic the bioelectric language of regenerating salamanders. And incredibly, the tissue responded. Over weeks of treatment, patients showed bone extensions, new muscle fibers, and nerve growth stretching several inches beyond the amputation point. It's not full limb regeneration, but it proves something remarkable. Mammals still have a dormant regenerative ability, and electricity can switch it back on. Inside the tissue, the electrical signals changed cellular voltage, activating genes that humans normally keep silent. Gene salamanders use to rebuild entire limbs. This sparked the formation of a blastema, a cluster of stem-like cells capable of constructing new tissue. But the challenge is enormous. Bone requires one electrical pattern. Muscle needs another. Nerves need something far more complex. Coordinating all of this is like conducting an orchestra where every section plays a different rhythm. That's why full limb regeneration remains decades away. Every year, around 185,000 Americans lose a limb. Many heard the headlines and expected miracles, but the truth is harder. Today's amputees won't see fully regenerated limbs in their lifetime. The science is real, but still in its early stages. What researchers can offer right now is partial regeneration, enough to restore grip strength, sensation, or limited movement. It's meaningful progress, but not the life-changing transformation people hope for. Bioelectric regeneration may one day replace prosthetics, but for now it remains a glimpse of a future still out of reach, a breakthrough that shows what could be possible, but not what's possible today.